Hey, I'm going to show you how to set up your own input keys for your game in Godot. I had a hard time figuring this one out, so I thought I would make it easier on the rest of the world and make a little video on it. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is a Godot game engine tutorial on setting up your own input. By default, user input is limited to very few things, like the arrow keys and mouse button. But there is a way to add custom user input, making it possible, for example, to have WASD as the input keys for your game. Here you can see I type UI and underscore. The drop down autofill shows all the possible user inputs. I'm going to show you how to edit these options and add more, giving you the power to do almost anything. It's over 9,000! Click on Project, Project Settings, and Input Map. Here's listed all the current types of input. If you're opening this for the first time, it should have all its default settings. You can edit the default settings by clicking on the little pencil icons, or just add completely new ones here at the top. You can name your inputs anything you want, but I would put underscores between words. Listed at the top of each of the inputs is the name that will appear in the autofill dropdown. This is what you will use in your actual code. Let me show you. Currently on my kinematic body for my movement for up, for jumping, I have it set to just the up arrow key. I want to actually change this, but I want to change it to jump just so I feel a little bit better because that's what it's going to be doing. So like I showed you, I'm going to go to project, project settings, input map. I'm going to add an action from right here. I'm going to call this one jump and hit add. I'll pop it in at the bottom. I'm going to hit the little plus arrow right here, a key, and I'm going to press space for my key and click OK. Now I'm going to close out of this, and I should be able to change this to jump with a capital J. Now if that all works, I can test it. Pressing the up arrow doesn't do anything now, but if I hit space, I jump. I'm now going to change my left and right to A and D. I'm going to go to Project, Project Settings. My right is going to be changed to D. And my left is going to be changed to A. And now when I press A and D, I move back and forth and space will allow me to jump. Moving control of the character to my left hand, which I think is preferred if I want to do something with the mouse later on in my game. So there I just showed you how to add a new input as well as edit an existing one. Really, it's super easy. Hopefully this little tutorial helped you because... Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, you know what to do. And if there's anything that you really want to see me make, then let me know and I'll see if I can make a tutorial on that. Leave a comment or a question or suggestion down below. I love feedback or you can shoot me an email. Thank you so much.